Previously on Alan Wake. Run, Alan! Welcome to the world of domestic terrorism. And now... Well, hello again, audience. It's me, Risk. And we are... Again, going outside in Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Looking for my evil twin and generally exploring the place. Last time we blew up a lot of stuff. Talked to a weird lady. And she had told us originally to go and take a look at this diner. And do our little jumpy dance. Actually she said nothing about the jumpy dance, but I like it. Seriously, who lifts up their knees like that when they jump? A poltergeist. Its existence is one of rage and hostility, and its very presence turns ordinary objects into deadly projectiles. Hey! Oh, shit! Hey, 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 narrator! We're supposed to be buddies here. Crap. Okay, we gotta go this way now. We gotta go this way. Gotta go this way, there's an evil thing. I think I got it. Okay. I will take the ammunitions I found. By accident. While I was trying not to die. Mount Red Tooth Observatory. Can't get Alan Wake. We got a problem here. First of all, these guys really need to repair their uh, asphalt. That's the word. Trouble with words. Usually, when I explore really creepy places like this, I get ambushed. Hardcore. When I step through doors like this, nothing. Got a good fryer system set up. The scene. Traces of violence. A callous midnight snack. A room key left carelessly behind. The man recognizes the enemy's handiwork. I think these are keys for the motel rooms. Probably the one I've been trying to get into. This evil person. I can handle that. Can't handle any other locks in this building. Alright. Let's go explore the motel rooms. Emma Sloan was a believer in a great many things, most of which were entirely fallacious. No. Emma Sloan, an innocent victim of his dark half. More collateral damage in the ongoing war. Damned by forces beyond her control as much as by her own actions. Well, narrator, we're just not going to be friends, are we? I was hoping that we could work this out and be good buddies, and no! There is no circling behind me on this. Hey, whoa. You should be dead. And I should not be screwing this up. There we go. Die! All of you. I really just don't want to deal with you, okay? Now, Emma, Emma, what did I tell you? You're supposed to stay in with the lights on. Why'd you open up the doors? Even if you didn't want to stay here, you could have left the doors shut in your safely lit area. But no. You had to be, like, all wanting to die and stuff. Damn it! Why didn't you listen? 
Seriously. And of course you're gone already. You're gonna ambush me later, and I'm going to have to kill you. I don't even want to kill you. Oh. Oh, yep. Michael Faraby, dead, tortured, dressed in clothes that bore the name of a local observatory. A slim lead, but solid enough. It stirs something deep in his mind. He knows where to go now. I could examine the body. Oh, no. The observatory, hot on the heels of the Herald of Darkness, the Champion of Light forges on to see the stars. Wait, I didn't want to leave. Why am I leaving? What? Wait! Can I go An back? Observatory. A place for a man to witness the magnificence of the universe. But such insights are not what the Champion of Light is looking for. He has come to find a weapon. Can I go back? I'm not ready, Alan Wake. We can't use cars. Seriously, I can't? <clears throat> okay, that's cool. Great, that's awesome. I like being randomly teleported where I don't want to go. That's cool. Continue forward. Welcome back, listeners. As you know, I'm Eddie Rodman, and I'm still talking to old gods of Asgard who are doing their big comeback tour. How's that been going for you? Oh, splendid! I'm having the time of my life! You know, I didn't realize how much I'd miss that. And what about you, Tor? Ah, it's okay, you know. Well, this must bring back a lot of oh. memories. Oh, yeah! It's wonderful to be back on stage. If it wasn't for my knee, <laughs> I'd feel like a young man again. <laughs> well, speaking of that, I hate to keep harping on this age thing, but I gotta tell you, I've heard your new songs, guys, and you sound really good. Thank you. And, uh, this may be a touchy subject, but to be blunt, you really don't sound, uh, well, old. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, the difference between your, your speaking voice and your singing voice, it's pretty striking. What the hell are you talking about? You saying it's not us singing on that record? What? What's he talking about? No, 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 I'm not saying that, guys, <laughs> but I, I can't help noticing the difference. Son, you're on thin ice. You calling me a liar? Whoa, hey, let me just step in here for a moment, boys. Yeah, Eddie, they do sound different, but believe me, we're not talking Milli Vanilli <laughs> here. These guys are the real deal. Why don't you come to the gig tomorrow night and see for yourself? Once they get on that stage, boom, things get real. Really? Believe me, they play like they're possessed. It's almost like magic. Look, you see my boys play, you see the old gods for real. These guys project a lot of power. They're not lightweights, you know what I'm saying? All right, Barry, I'll, I'll see if I can make it. Now, let's take another quick break here, and after that, we'll play the new Old Gods of Asgard single. Don't you go away. Hmm. <laughs> I will go away because you're... Oh no, I didn't want to go away. I'll go back to the radio room. Come back. Don't just run off, that means you're gonna ambush me it's somewhere else, and what's... Liquid nitrogen, see? I've seen a lot of games that talk about liquid nitrogen for observatories, I still haven't figured out why. Why do you need liquid nitrogen with an observatory? What is the... What's the connection? Well, hello, sir. 
How are you guys doing? You could just die. And, sir. Sorry, I'm gonna try my Uzi. This is pretty potent. Yeah, this is pretty potent. This is excellent. Let's continue on. The bright moon is lighting up the night. For some reason, that doesn't bother these guys. Apparently, full on shotgun. So what is my evil twin up to? What does an observatory have to do with all this? I already made a satellite fall from the sky, which was rather... I don't know, overly flashy? Now how come I can't drive vehicles in this game? That was fun. Blow out that light yet. Shoddy, I don't know. I think I need to try this gun out, at least for just the viewer's sake. We will see what it's like. Hello? I'm Dr. Rachel Meadows, and wait a moment, it's you! I can't believe you dare show your face around here again. Yeah, I'm getting that reaction. <laughs> I knew you guys were coming. Yep, hello, firefighter. Take that. Whoa! Hey! Hey! Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? Not cool. Not cool. Go away. It wasn't me. I just look like him. Are you serious? That's what you're going with? Please! I'm trying to stop him. You saw those shadow things trying to kill me, right? I bet he got along with them just fine. Yes. Yes, he did. All right, come on in. Thank you. Well, that's a cool door system. What is this thing? It's got text too small to read. Hey, buddy. I figured I'd take a moment to talk to you. There's a party next door. I'm feeling pretty good right now. A little beer. A little fun, you know? It's nice. We're too close to TV, your eyes will rot out. Listen, this whole thing between us, it's a little weird for me too, you know? I mean, we don't just look the same, there's a lot we share. I mean, up here. I know you, right? So I was thinking maybe we could... Yeah. Continue. These guys are getting out of control. Look, I feel like we're both victims of circumstance here. And maybe we could make some kind of effort to... Dragging this out, aren't you? Come on, spit it out! Spit it out. Um, what's that for? 
What you planning, sir? I'm over here, not much you can do. Never mind. What? Okay, that's one way to handle loud people. They can be pretty annoying, loud people. So don't blame me too much, but um... You should have finished what you were talking about, you shouldn't have just left me hanging there for forever. That was an awkwardly long video. And boy, they give me a lot of equipment. 